After the election of 2013, uh, when I look at the trend that developed, um, you know, with the, the demise of the organization, and what came back and happened again in 2015, I realized to myself that I had to make a, a, a paradigm shift and trying to figure out what would have been the best thing to do. I felt that getting involved in something that would be able to sustain me and my family and at the same time provide um, an opportunity for, for, for employment and being food secured. Because I understand the importance of nutrition in the you know in terms of taking care of the, the, the nation's health. Nutrition plays a very important role. So hence the reason again too for the marketing strategy that we we are actually using. So basically I, I had to turn to to something to sustain me. And I, I felt at that time that farming would have been the best um, opportunity or the best um, area to, to, to turn to. Because what I have discovered since then is that being involved in agriculture gives you a new perspective on, on life itself. You know, the way you view life. It also provides you with an opportunity to be the person guiding what actually happens. Um, so you have more time for yourself and you would have to make sometimes crucial decisions but at least you know that whatever decision you make you will have to be responsible and bear if it's positive the outcome is positive then you will bear the you will, will reap the benefit of that and if it's not then you know you have to stand to it and then kind of re-strategize so it's a good opportunity it gives you a it gives you an opportunity to rethink things and to look at life from a different perspective. So that is actually what happened in the case of my situation. And I, in fact, I've been involved in, in so many different spheres in, my, um, in life in itself because at one time I was a coach, both for basketball, track and field. Um, then I went on to be a teacher, went on to be a principal, then I got involved in um, the political um, realm, so dealing with, with policies, and then I'm also a, a qualified dietitian and a qualified educator because my first degree is in nutrition and then my second degree, master's degree, is in education. So. It's just being able to rise to the occasion as things happen. You know, if you could do that, then you will be able to, to sustain life and at the same time be an example, especially for the younger folks and especially males. You know, so that is my whole thrust right now. And it has always been like that, you know, focusing on the, the younger population and especially males because they need a, a lot of direction and guidance.